Greetings YouTube. I am showing off coins from my non-precious metal collection. If I get this to focus, you will see that this is a copper nickel half dollar. And oh, I'm trying to get this to focus. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah, this is a couple bicentennials with the different backs. See? But yeah, like on this page, it's just mostly half dollars and presidential dollars. You know, it's, it'll be a fun video. You, you'll see some coins that are, you know, fairly common and then um, I'm also going to show you coins that are not so common and hopefully you haven't seen them before that'll make the video all the more interesting I haven't been making uh, stacking videos so much basically I, ju I just haven't felt like it uh, but I have you know still been stacking my precious metals right now I'm concentrating on gold and platinum um, I'm halfway to my goal of getting an ounce of platinum. I have half an ounce. And for silver, I, I'm going to get to 100 ounces this year. I, I'm not I'm not really worried too much about silver. I'd like to just concentrate on gold and platinum because that's where I think I'll get the most bang for my buck. Especially since silver is just taking a, a, a total butt whooping this year. And as is gold and platinum, but now that they're on the cheap I'd like to get them uh, this is a 2009 penny to me this is a lot like the bicentennial quarter it's never really gonna be worth anything unless you have the satin proof set but I like to collect it just to collect it 1947 wheat penny and here I have a ancient Roman coin, which you can see I got for a pretty nice price. I'm not sure what era, what era this coin is from. I don't know too much about Roman coins. Maybe uh, from the Constantine era, that's what it looks like it says. Let's see the back of it. Right here. And here I have a 2014 Chuck E. Cheese coin. Believe it or not, these are, there is a market for these. People collect these. And they have a 1977 Chuck E. Cheese coin, that uh, copper one, that can fetch up to $1,000 because that's highly collectible. So there is a market for these coins. I mean, the, the, it, we don't have any monsters like the um, 1977 one, but they can, you know, fetch some money to the right buyer. This is, I believe, is the first of the new design right here where they got the young boy mouse or rat boy, whatever you want to call them. You see the guitar right here, Chuck E. Cheese, 2014. If I can get out the shadow. There we go. Hopefully you can see the number. And here is the old design of the Chuck E. Cheese coin. I found the 2014 one on the floor of a Rite Aid. So I was like, okay, cool. I'll just put that in there. And then this one, I got it off of Listia because I felt I had to have the old design too. I Actually, these tokens, they, they come in... um. You know, as they get older, they they got different designs, and maybe I might track down some of the older designs. Maybe not. Depends on how I'm feeling. The obverse and reverse of this coin are the same, so I don't have to flip it over for that. This coin, I'm not too sure where it's from. I'd like to say it's from Turkey, cause simply cause it has the um, the crescent moon on there, but. 
the script. I'm, I'm not even sure what it is, if it's Arabic or, or some other dialect. It, it could be from any country in the Middle East, pretty much, because I'm, I'm just at a loss to what it is, but... You know, if, if you can look at this coin and tell me what it is. This is a 1964, two cent times. Uh, here's the back of it. Yeah, if you can tell me what coin that is, I greatly appreciate it. I'm sure the other viewers of this video will appreciate it too. That's another coin I got off of Listia. And here's a 1946 wheat cent. Uh, 2000 uh, D Sac Sacagawea dollar 1945 wheat cent and I have here uh, another interesting coin this is uh, 1556 uh, Spanish colonial um, shipwreck coin Let's see the back of it. Yeah, so it's um it's pretty cool. I got this at a decent price. I didn't pay too much for it. I got it because of the history. That's the same reason I got the Roman coin. I don't plan on going into the market for ancient coins. Um, I, I like the more modern ones better, but I got these because they're different and they're they're fun to look at. And pl plus, they look good in the collection, you know. They just they they look good. Well, that's um it for now. Um, I'll I'll make uh, another video on stacking soon. I hope. I just wanna um stack up a little more um, um, precious metals and stuff so I can have a bunch of new stuff to show you I may do a, a full stack vid sometime in the near future we'll see how that goes but for now uh, rate comment and subscribe and I hope you enjoyed the video